Vibration is one of the essential ingredients of life. We are multi-dimensional rhythm machines embedded in a universe of rhythm. I wanted to find out more about what it is that we're really doing with this. What powers does it contain? Each painting session, I just sound the gong. Do you remember where home is? Tells me who I am, where I am, why I am. I feel it. It's a very tactile instrument. So I try to get the vibrations to come in, and now when I paint, it will come from the inside out. Okay, please come into the uh, Tiki Club, everyone, and take a peek. Pythagoras would have loved this. I mean, this is this is the instrument that. Pythagoras used to discover the octave. We honor him now by using the Pythagorean monochord. Everybody, prepare to rock. Anything that moves has two things. It has a visual content, and it has a sonic content. This kind of art, it's not about perfection. It's about what you call the no stance, which is in the moment, in the zone, in sync. Taking all your forces, all your energy, all your concentration, everything is just in the groove. And then the magic happens. That's what any musician is really after. 
The last tour, I was sonifying the cosmos, the universe, the macro. On this tour, there'll be sounds that are derived from the micro, from the body. I've taken brain waves and sonified them, changed their form, and made them into sound. I take that and put that in the computer, and I play with it, and I dance with it, I make music with it. So this is a wireless EEG cap. So we're going to put it on Mickey and record his brain activity in real time. So I'm using science now in a big way in my art. I want to find out what it takes to use music as medicine to make us healthier. The only way you're going to know how to do that is by studying it. Yeah, I think it looks good. OK, so we're live. We're hearing the sonification of various oscillations and frequencies from Mickey's brain. The lowest is theta, and then it goes alpha, beta, and then gamma is the highest. So if you bring everything in, that's all the subbands together. Mickey, when I first met him, expressed some frustration that something he's believed his whole life, that music can have an impact on the brain, hadn't been validated to the degree that he hoped. And that's something that I told him we can offer him. It's what our lab does, right? We perform careful experiments uh, using rhythm to change rhythms of the brain and see what impact it has on behavior. The idea to Mickey of moving music therapy into really hard science and making it true medicine has been so exciting to him. This is Rhythm Central. Once we decode it, then we'll be able to use it in diagnostics, as medicine, and for life enhancement in general. But I'm a performer. And I'll always be a performer, and I love to play the drums. But now the most exciting frontier in music is the greatest mystery, the brain, the mind. The understanding of the vibratory universe. As humans, we've created the most amazing ways of making rhythmic sound if you just look around. Oh, I know, music makes me whole. Because the music has grabbed me and I can't stop. So, music is not a luxury. It's a necessity. I think everybody should have one of these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed us. <laughs> <laughs>